Hi everyone, I'm Polly Hendrickson from the 2014 Ice Resin Creative Team and today I'm going to talk with you about how you can use ice resin with vintage pill bottles or perfume bottles and add some embellishments. Okay, so I have in front of me a couple of examples of some old pill bottles, perfume bottles, kind of a variety um, that I have found over the years. and. Um, Ice resin does such a great job of, um, there's so many uses for it, but the, one of the main uses that I really like to use it for is a glue. And um, what I've done with these is added some embellishments, some um, rhinestones, and then some old paper, and even a little bird charm on this one here with some old sheet music that I found. So what I do is I like to, um, I've already mixed some ice resin for us here so that it's all ready to go. And what I do is I like to add just a little bit to the front of the bottle. And that will act as the adhesive or the glue for the paper we're going to use. So that's going to sit for just a minute. Um, kind of a cool trick to make your paper look older is to hit it on the edges with a Sharpie. Or you can also use like a Stazon ink pad or any other ink that you like. And it just kind of gives kind of a little bit older of a look to your paper that you're using. This paper that I'm using comes from the Christian Robinson Rue Romantique collection and she's got some great options in there for you for paper and words and anything you could need. So I'm just going to set this on top, the paper on top of the resin, make sure that it, co it covers um, both sides um, completely and get it organized there the way you want it. Then I'm going to come over again with a little more resin using a paintbrush here, a disposable paintbrush. And what that will do is it will finish adhering the leftover parts to the paper or to the glass that you're using. And you don't really need very much. It's just kind of a light coating. And what will this will do is act as um, kind of a protectant as well in addition to the glue for your paper. So just cover it enough so that it's not globby. You want to make sure that it's um, going to be smooth. And then I'm going to come in and add a little more resin and a little charm for some embellishment here. Put that up above. Okay, here we go. And then I'll just again move it around until you get it exactly where you want it to be. And you may have to go in and add a few more drops of the resin just to be sure that it will adhere. Since the resin dries clear, um, you don't need to worry about it showing out too much. And then I just need to make sure that's straight. And next, I'm going to snip a piece of rhinestone from rhinestone, my rhinestone chain. And I think I'll add that in there as well. Just add a little bit of the resin on the back of the rhinestone. And then maybe just a little bit more on top of the charm for where the rhinestone is going to be. And then just move it around so that you get it exactly, like I said, where you want it. And there you have it. It's, um, you can turn that into so many different options. You can use it in your mixed media pieces. Um, you can use it as a necklace. Um, the next piece I make right here, I'm going to show you how to use or make a necklace. Um, kind of like a message in the bottle type of thing. I'm going to just roll up some old paper. This is tissue paper, but you can use anything. And maybe tear off some of it on the end here. and stick that one right inside. The bottle. There we go. You can add a lid if you like, and in this case, since it's like a message in the bottle, a lid might be a good idea. You can also sprinkle in glitter if you'd like got some glitter in the next one we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do um, some of the inclusions in the ice resin. 
This is just a little um, flower. Um, it's a glass piece that you can use in vases and that type of thing, and I put some paper on it. And I'm just going to use the iced resin to attach and glue it down. And then I'll attach um, a chain. I made a little bale, and I'll use that for my, uh, once that dries, it can be a necklace. All right, so the last one we'll do is I'm going to add some of the iced enamels, the Shattered Fire Opal. I love the color of these and gives you such great options. It's kind of got some copper. And I'm going to add, I think, the ice resin first and then just sprinkle a little bit in. Or maybe, no, I guess I'll go ahead and add some right to our ice resin. If you've never added any of the inclusions in your ice resin, it's a really cool thing to do. You can add as much or as little as you want and it really looks great. It makes all kinds of changes um, for the looks you're going for. You can also add spices or anything, um, even paint, that will color the resin, and if you've not tried that, you should really try that as well. So I'll just kind of drop it in, and the little inclusions of the glitter there, the fire opal, really make a change to the way the bottle looks. There we go. So hopefully you can see that. And then again, at the end, I'll put another, um, once the ice resin is dry, I'll add the lid and hang that from a chain and we'll have a nice little necklace. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll try out some of the different things we talked about. And thanks for watching.